Hey everybody, welcome back to Meet the Wheelers. I'm Mason. I'm Sarah. And we are outside for the first time in a long time on this vlog. Show them the sunset. Oh. Look at the sky. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. Wow. It's pretty awesome out, actually. We had a really, really nice day here in Washington. It's supposed to be in the 70s and whatnot. Do you have some, like hello 70s this week? You gotta talk louder. Hello 70s this week. Yeah. Oh, right, not bus. Oh, two ghost faces. There we go, better. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be really nice. We don't. Yeah. It's a loud <laughs> motorcycle nearby. Might have to edit that out. Um, <clears throat> The birds are chirping. I got a beautiful wife next to me. Nah. No? Nah. You're full of it. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Guess what? Now you know what's coming now? Everybody tell Sarah how beautiful she is oh in the comments. I'm not kidding. Deal with it. I got a new haircut today. It looks so good. Um it's now you guys won't have to see me in beanies every day. The same beanies. The same beanies every day. Every day. Uh, that was getting old. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty quick. It's a red beanie. But yeah, hey, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Um, what did you do today? What did I do today? I went to work. I work at home, like you guys know. And uh, <clears throat> Sarah had the day off. She cleaned a bunch. Got her car washed. Hung out with a puppy. Um, I got a haircut, like I said, wrapped up a big project at work, so kind of got to breathe a sigh of relief and maybe I'll get to not be so stressed out. <laughs> How was your day? Successful. Successful. That's the right word. That's the right word. I think that's a good word. <clears throat> Car is clean. The barbecue is clean. Barbecue. We have a barbecue in our backyard. Kitchen is not clean because we just ate dinner. Yeah. Fridge is clean. The garbage is out, which is a big deal. We often forget to put yeah. the garbage out and then we roll it out the next day after finding out that the garbage man has already come by. Yeah, we were like a whole month without getting our recycling. Well, like right after we moved, too. Yeah. And that was bad. Our garage is <clears throat> full of. Garbage. Well, not garbage. Recycling. Yeah. So. We're looking forward to the summer. Mm-hmm. We are. We uh, really want to go on a trip. I want to go to Disneyland so bad. Our, our hearts belong in California a little bit, I think. There's a portion of our heart that belongs to, like, Anaheim. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> we, uh, we love Disneyland. We're toying with the idea of hopefully trying to maybe save up a little bit or depending Just on how the week. conversation goes getting away for a weekend even um, yeah it's tough with finances especially with IVF like there's no like extra money to spend on yourself yeah and we we we, we try to anyways sometimes even you know we'll get like oh that's a cool shirt let's get that but we never go and like we don't we don't go on trips like we used to it's we like Mason to... films a wedding and he's like, oh, I, you know, I got $400. We could or go on a trip like that, or yeah. we could pay one month on one of the credit lines. Yeah, or we could pay lines. baby debt, <clears throat> which yeah. it's it's hard to want to, to not chisel down baby debt. Yeah. And honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm scared to spend money on anything else because who knows like what could come up. Um, a baby, hopefully. Yeah. Well, and then it's like once we do have a baby, then we have all these expenses. I I don't want to have gone on a vacation. Yeah. Even if like it would be good for us, like it's hard to find. <clears throat> it's hard to decide the value of treating yourself to a vacation. Mm -hmm. Like at least for me, I haven't. I don't know. Do you think the same? Yeah. I feel guilty if we go and they yeah. spend a large chunk of money on something that we shouldn't be. That was mm -hmm. you know. Air yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd feel guilty too. Especially if we were to take time off of trying to make a baby. Yeah. I, I that would be kind of tough too. It's like we feel like we need to be giving it our all, but are we really giving it our all if we're like super bummed and depressed and I don't know. 
I mean, we're not like depressed, but <clears throat> definitely going to Disneyland would make us happy. Yeah. Or going, make anyone going happy. to California in general, or yeah. even just like we talked about going up to Vancouver, Canada, that is. I pretty badly want to be sitting on Christian Shelley's back deck right now and not mm -hmm. ours. <laughs> yeah, down in Glendora, California yes. is another one of our happy places. Yes. We love you guys, Christian Shelley. <laughs> Um, so we'll, uh, we'll think about it, pray about it. <clears throat> Chances are we probably won't have the finances. Probably Gotta pay off taxes and baby, IVF does not give you a very good tax break. Yeah, it I gave mean, us a $300 deduction. We got a $300 deduction and... We spent $21,000. We spent, yeah, $21,000. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, you buy a car and you get like a bigger, I'm pretty sure you get a bigger deduction. Yeah, or like school loans gives you a bigger deduction. Yeah. It's crazy. Finances. I mean, we could talk a little bit about finances. We got the time. Okay. You want to just do that? Sure. Um, I'm trying to think back of how much we spent just in... I think... Wasn't it like 16 or 18? It was like it was like 18, yeah. Yeah. Basically, we paid $18,000 to have all IVF procedures and stuff at our clinic, basically, for the most part, minus some testing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> paid for until we get a take home baby. Mm -hmm. so, so if we were to like go to the hospital and give birth but not take the baby home, like as terrible as that would be, mm -hmm. we would have be able to start over IVF. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Pretty sure. And yeah. I, I might be wrong, but I'm fairly sure and that's like the gist of it, is we take a baby home, then if we don't take a baby home we can keep doing IVF until that happens. Now there's still testing, genetic testing, um, blood work, kind of medication. Well, not blood work exactly. If it's above and beyond, like what the clinic normally does. Yeah. <clears throat> but the big ones, meds, like stimulation drugs for um, egg retrieval. That that's expensive. expensive. That was like we actually applied for a loan, uh, not a loan, but a reduced cost yeah, for which that. Which we got. Which, which we got. Which was what? It was like a. Was it 25%? I think it might be like Something 25%. like 25%. Yeah. Talk with your clinics, guys. If you're considering IVF. There's like a, I forgot what it's called, First Steps or something. First Steps programs, but, you know, they yeah. might be in the UK or somewhere, too. Um, yeah, but we just basically applied and then wrote out a little bit of our story. Yeah, talk. basically it's like applying for a scholarship at uh, yeah. school. You kind of got to justify it a little bit, and they, like, learn about where your taxes are mm -hmm. and, like, how, how much you make. But there's ways to reduce the cost of IVF, and that's one of them. Yeah. Um, mm. Also, do your research. Um, don't just go with like whatever company does the meds for your clinic. Sometimes, sometimes they raise prices. Sometimes they're not mm. the best option anymore. We've worked with three different mm. pharmacies so far, and the last one we worked with was awesome. Yeah, they were so helpful, and they were like actually. I don't know what happened. Insurance covered it 100% last time. Yeah. I don't know if they... I don't know. The way... It might have been the way they build it. It might... I, we don't know what happened exactly, but... Uh, if you're in the United States, check out Freedom... Freedom? Free, freedom Freedom Fertil Farm, Freedom Fertility? Something like that. Freedom something. Freedom Fertility, probably. And yeah. that's not an endorsement. Like, nobody paid us to say that, but... Yeah. We just really liked them. <laughs> we liked the way they handled it. Um, yeah. The other people did okay, too, but, you know, they stood out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we'll be using them hopefully next time. Um, but but how much did it cost for drugs to transfer with? Was it? Uh, out of they've been different actually. So the first the first frozen embryo transfer was I think four hundred and ten dollars, and and the next round, this last one was supposed to be seven hundred and something, um, but insurance covered it, which is awesome. Yeah, so we only paid 15 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so do your research. It is great. Be sure that your insurance is billing things properly. Yeah. Um, it's kind of on you. That's the crazy thing about insurance, and this is no ex exception, is <clears throat> it's kind of on you to try. Insurance is such a pain in the butt to deal with. But yeah. it's worth they're it. they're going to pay your medication. Think about it. If, so you spent, it. if you spent, if we would have spent 10 hours of our time trying to figure out how to pay for it, mm -hmm. you know, or work with insurance company, that's $70 an hour. It's $700. Like, we, we got to pay for it. And we didn't spend 10 hours. Yeah. So, just do your research. It's worth it. 
Yeah. And um, we, I think we mentioned that we were trying to see if insurance was going to cover the first oh, chunk. Oh, yeah. Um, we were trying to figure that out. And so far they are not. We got a letter back. But our pharmacy, or our um, clinic said that sometimes insurance will cover frozen embryo transfer medications, but not... Then they should have still done the, the first, first one. round, though. The first round. I know, round. I don't know why that didn't cover it. We're doing a little bit more investigating. Yeah, it's a headache, but it's going to be worth it if we get money back. But we, we paid for more than what two uh, transfers <clears throat> would have cost. No, a little bit less than what two transfers would have cost if we would have gone the standalone route. Because, like, you can just pay for one and it would have been like $9,000. Something like that, yeah. And um, but we decided to pay for um, the take home baby insured, yeah, the route. insured route. Yeah. Just in case, and we are so thankful. So glad we did. <laughs> so glad we did. It's not for everybody. We're paying out the nose in debt to do yeah. it, and you know we basically have a baby mortgage, is what we're calling it. Yep. And uh, but it, it's the best debt we've gone into. Well, research. Will be the best debt. What your best financial options are. Um, it, you know, maybe you only have the ability to do one. Maybe it's worth waiting to save up to do what you can do. Mm -hmm. We had to get two lines of credit at our bank. Um, a, another. No interest. Uh, no interest credit card. Uh, and that's the way we're doing it. So we have three yeah. separate loans on top of another loan that we have to consolidate some old debt. So yeah. it's it's like it's a headache. it was a, it was kind of like a miracle that it worked out on time that we got to start when we did. That's what why we had to finance it the way we did was because we it was seriously like we decided to do IVF. We wanted to get in the next round, which was happening right then and there. So we we had like what four days, yeah, four or five had, days to figure it out. So we it was a miracle. I mean, we didn't finance it like we wanted to. Obviously, yeah, there's better ways to do but it. But that's what we had to do yeah. for us at the time. <clears throat> Another just caveat uh again do your research because there's like medical financing programs that like there might be a brochure for on the de desk at your clinic those mess those have like really high interest rates and sometimes they advertise low ones but if your credit's not impeccable um and you're getting that. <laughs> sometimes they're like 30 40 percent interest rates like insane Crazy. that's insane and it might be affordable and seem like a good idea but you know our, our mentality is we, we, we didn't, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of hard to think about it, but yeah. we, didn't, sucks. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to bring a baby into the world that we can't afford to have them in yeah. <laughs> at Seriously. the same time, but I don't know, we've kind of gone a little long on this one. And the sun is going down. And the sun is going down. Uh, but hey guys, we, we really do love you and we hope that this video helps you guys uh, in your endeavors and gives you a better look into our lives a little bit. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to join our journey and join this community of awesome people that's forming here, uh, encourage each other in the chat, in the chat, in the comments, <laughs> and uh, chat with you, chat with each other. Tell us your stories. Uh, tell us about how you guys paid for IVF and how you're uh, overcoming that debt. I'd love to hear some success stories of people yeah. who have overcome the baby debt because right now it's kind of scary and crippling. Right now it's like, yeah. Crippling is, <laughs> Crippling is a good word. Like, we just don't know. We're just kind of surviving. So, yeah. um, there's lots of ways to do it. We'd love to hear what you guys have got going on. But, uh, guys, there's social links down in the description. We really love engaging with you on Snapchat. Uh, we comment back a lot on that. And we try and get all the comments in down below. And we have, like, a P.O. box and a whole bunch of ways to contact you guys. So, uh, check us out. We love you guys. We're here for you. I was going to say anything. <laughs> okay. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.